Hey guys, real quick update on this announcement for this giveaway I'm going to do. I'm going to add another one on here, do three. I'll do one right here on YouTube, one on Facebook, and one on Instagram. What I'll do is I'll make the announcement on the 23rd, and you guys will have 48 hours or 72 hours to say I'm in or whatever we decide to do, and uh, we will pick the lucky winner, and I don't really care where you're from. I will ship these anywhere as long as your customs will accept them. Hey guys, on to number nine of our 24 part series for the 2018 rations. We've got menu number nine, beef stew. I happen to love this menu. It is so versatile, especially if you use stuff like this to change it. You can totally change the flavor combinations. So, one of my favorites. Let's bust into this thing. Try our luck. Place your bets. Place your bets. How is he going to do? Ah, not too bad. First time. Let's see what we got. Pretzels. Lemon poppy seed pound cake. Our beverage bag. Accessory packet. Grape jelly and peanut butter. FRH. Multigrain snack bread. Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, fruit punch. Definitely not one of my favorites, but it is what it is. Beef stew, all of its glory. Here's nutrition facts and all of the 9,000 ingredients that it has inside and our lovely beef stew. See some hot sauce, our spoon, and that's everything that's in the bag. So far, I think every single one of these has had the same exact date or close to it. Sugar, matches, moist towelette, salt, coffee and creamer, gum, and TP. And just looking at these contents is just another head scratcher. You're like, what in the world are they thinking putting this stuff together? We all know how popular it is to have pretzels with your beef stew and peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Go figure. But you got to love Natick for trying or whatever it is that they do over there. Well, let's get this stuff made up. Hmm, pretzel sticks. Okay, just got the mains and everything heated up nice and toasty. Now we're gonna do a little experiment. I got two of these beef stews. This one came with a ration, so this one is the one that we're going to plate right now. And there it is, you can see it, all of us yummy goodness. Carrots, peas, all kinds of yummy stuff. Potatoes, big generous chunks of beef. And then with this one, we're gonna doctor this one up a little bit. We'll add some spices to it so you can definitely see why this individual entree is probably one of my favorites. So real quick, I'm just gonna grab this bowl. I'm gonna put a little bit in here and I'm gonna keep the rest in here real quick. And now I'm partial to two things. I am partial to a little bit of yellow curry, which you just dump some in there and give it a nice mix. Oh, you can already get them curry spices. Mmm. And then I like blackened or Creole seasoning. And I'm gonna pour a little of that in here. And you can add as much or as little as you want. And now real quick, I'm just gonna do a little mixing 
with the magic of editing, this will be all ready when we come back. So right here is our curry. It will put our Creole right here. Wee, that's going to be good. And then the last thing we have is this uh, multi-snack green bread. And I did throw this in the heater as well. Seems to make it a little more pliable. Well, let's not screw around. We're going to start sampling. This one is just a beef stew on its own. Again, you can see it's got these huge chunks of beef, or at least processed beef. There you go. It's a potato. And there's nothing in here. No salt, no hot sauce, no nothing. And you can tell it's processed beef. I mean, it just kind of crumbles apart in your mouth. There's no, like, really any, any of those beefy striations that you would expect in a real hunk of beef or meat. But overall, it's not too bad. One more quick bite, and then we're going to add a little bit of hot sauce to this. And just on its own, it is a little bland, but it does have some decent sodium content to it already. But if you wanted to, you could add some salt. Grab this, dump a little on here. Well, maybe if we can open it. And get some of the vinegar lovelies in there. And again, I'll have the ingredients scrolled right down there on the bottom. Mm, a little bit of that. Mm. Oh, that hot sauce just gives it such a nice kick. Nice little burn to the throat. Outstanding. Now, this is my Creole beef stew so if you're out in the field you got your own spices you can really make this your own oh man just adding that little bit of spice adds so much flavor and completely changes the flavor profiles i mean that is outstanding mm. but i am a fan of curry so i did put some crushed yellow curry in here oh man you can just smell it it's just saying, I want to be great. I want to be wonderful and devour me. That's good, too. It's not quite as flavorful as this. The one thing it's missing is just a little bit of salt. So if you want to, if you do have some sea salt, just crush a little bit in there. Man. Give it one more go. Oh, that's the ticket. Just that little touch of salt. Mmm. And again, if you wanted to, you could take your wheat snack bread and you could toast it like we did that uh, other vid. And you could dump it in here, add some, get a little more filling in here, if that is your desire. Man. That kind of works out. It gives it a nice little chewiness to it, a little more of a bite, seeing how that the beef is really soft. Mmm. <clears throat> Then we have the pretzels. I think if you were inclined, you could crumble these up and put them in here as well, which we might actually do that, but just some simple pretzel sticks. Just a slight little bit of saltiness, but man, they are just a little stale. That's kind of a bummer. So I'm going to crush one of these up right over here. Just for that little crunch factor. And we'll give this one a try because this has got the little hot sauce still over here. Little bits of beef. Can you see that? There we go. Ooh, nice catch. Yep, not too bad. Then again, we got this fruit punch. Fruit punch is probably my least flav favorite drink out of all these. Man, it's got like a nice little sludge on the top. It's going to turn my insides a fluorescent red. Seems the colder water you use, the better it tastes, but, man, you can see it. It just kind of leaves a film around the top of the glass. Now, again, now we've got some wheat snack bread and some PB&J. Of course, I would probably hang on to this stuff for a little later in the evening, but we can use this to make our lemon seed pound cake taste a little better. Not that it's bad on its own, but, yeah, we're going to give it a little dab over here. Well, maybe if I can get some of this out. A little dab on the top. And a little bit of grate. Same thing over here with our wheat snack bread. 
multi-grain at that. Oh, let's give this one a try. What's not to like about a PB&J? They're pretty good. Now our lemon poppy seed cake has been modified. We'll try some of this first. Down here on the end, you see it's got the little poppy seeds in there. Now have enough of these things. We'll test positive for some cocaine or opiates. All right, then we'll give this a go down here. A little bit of this extra added yummy goodness. A little bit of PB&J on our lemon poppy seed cake. Yeah, this just makes this so much nicer. You get that creaminess of the peanut butter, a little kick of that lemon, and then the sweetness of that grape jelly. Mmm, man, that really, really works. Well, I've got one more thing to share with you. When I used this last time, somebody asked, hey, would it heat up water to make a decent cup of coffee? Well, we're going to find out, because I've actually got my coffee, or a cup, full of MRE coffee. And I've had this inside of this Hot Logic the whole entire time. Woo! In our hot weather, hot weather, our hot water beverage bag or hot beverage bag. Let's see if I can open this stupid thing. It, it, it is hot. It is, it is legit hot. So we'll see if we can see some steam coming. Oh God, my my freaking fingers. Yeah, I would say that uh, these definitely work to heat up some hot water. I believe that was Jimmy that asked that question. So here's six ounces of water in my coffee. And eventually I'm going to get one of those, uh, those I heart thermometer things so I can definitely show you what the temp is. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's hot. That is hot. That's that <laughs> that will definitely make some hot coffee. So there you go. Well, everybody, this was menu number nine. Beef stew made three ways. Outstanding. Just shows a little bit of creativity. You can do whatever you want with your food. Thanks for watching out there, and I will see all of you on my next review. Bye.